New radio in the Door County Daily News. Over a week ago, we were right here, right in this exact spot. Two weeks ago, uh, we were in this exact spot, and sort of looked a little bit different. Lori Allen, Door County Habitat for Humanity, Executive Director, and Lori, tell us a little bit about all the work that helped get to the restore the open today. It's just been crazy. Um, two weeks ago on Monday, we had that torrential rain. I think we got four inches in two hours and the sewer system wasn't able to handle the overflow. So it came in on all sides of our building. Um, we have had to put lots and lots, lots of restoration together. Um, we did have a restoration company come in and, you know, bring all of the fans and spray for us. So nothing would have mold on it. Um, after a couple days, we started digging and finding more and more damage. So we had to take out all the bottom of the walls that were um, soaked with water and all the insulation needed to be taken out. So all, every, all the way around the store, we had to do all new drywall um, and paint. This wall right over here um, was totally taken apart. We totally had to um, put up all new drywall and paint. So We've had uh, probably about 50 volunteers, um, not only from Door County Habitat for Humanity, but just community members coming in off the street and asking to help. And we so appreciate all of that. I, we couldn't have done it. I don't, I don't know how we would have gotten this project done without our wonderful volunteers. So thank you to them. Thank you to everybody that brought in food and water and Gatorade to us while we were working. Um, we've had wonderful people, individual donors in the community um, write us checks, and we so appreciate that. Because we did not have um, flood insurance policy on our insurance policy, we had no coverage for our losses. So right now we're sitting about $45,000 in the hole. So anybody that can contribute a $1, dollar, $5, $20, um, there's no giving amount that's too less or too much. We would appreciate anything you can to help us get out of this financial hole. <laughs> and one way that people can help you do that is that you were able to save a number of those treasures. So if anything, this is another reason. If you've seen something that you liked, yep. you know, before you just have to worry about the next person that walked in. Now you got to, you know, this is, gives you even more credence. If you see it, just walk on over. Take it. And we did lose um, three 20 yard um, dumpsters full of furniture that we could not sell due to um, being wet and the possibility of bacteria and mold in the furniture. So just know that when you come, everything is in perfect shape here. Um, we have no water damage items. Everything is in perfect condition. We cleaned everything. We washed the floors. We put in um, new flooring in two of our rooms. We've just done a complete makeover. So the store is actually clean, beautiful, and ready for you to come and shop. And we're ready for donations. And the one thing that you mentioned when we talked last was, you know, it was a good thing that there wasn't a home build. <laughs> I know. We always say, you know, everything happens for a reason. But we, we didn't build this year. And if we would have built and then had this um, crisis and tragedy um, and loss come to us, we would have been really spread thin for our volunteer help. So again, I'm just thankful to all of our volunteers who stepped up to the plate. They were here on a holiday week. They were here on weekends, um, here for two weeks straight, just helping us get reorganized and, and clean, um, make sure everything was in good working order and really a lot of rehab too, as far as walls and flooring. Now, we mentioned a few ways that they can support you, but July 20th, you're going to be holding a special kind of grand reopening celebration. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we we're really excited. Um, we have a band, a local band here in Sturgeon Bay that's going to play from one to three. Um, we're going to have food trucks. We are going to have sales um, and just invite the community um, back to see all the wonderful, great things that our community helped us do um, to reopen the, it's not only our restore, it's our um, staff offices as well, where totally had to be, um, all the walls had to be removed and new insulation, new um, drywall had to be put in the offices too. So we just want to celebrate. We want to do a thank you, a big shout out to our community. 
and have a celebration here on Saturday, July 20th. So stay tuned. We'll get more information out to you, what things will be available. We'll be raffling some items off, um, some upcycled items, recycled items, um, raffle baskets, well, all lots of fun, fun things. So please uh, stop by and join us on Saturday, July 20th. But the exciting news, you're open. We're open. Come see us. Again, we're open Tuesday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So like I said, come and shop, donate, say hi, look at our new place. Um, we're just proud to be back in action. The happiest news of the day right yes. here at the Door County Habitat for Humanity. Lori, thank you so much. Yep, thank you. You've been watching New Radio and the Door County Daily News.